Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, last time on Assassin's Creed, we were needing to follow James Kidd, and we are behind now. Come on, man. No, well, try him. Odd looking things, aren't they? Old and weathered. Is this what they call Mayan? Or is it Aztec? Are you good with riddles, Edward? Puzzles and ponderings and the like. No worse than the next man, why? I think you've a natural gift for it. The way you think and work. The way you understand the world. Well, I don't know about that. You're talking in riddles now and I don't understand a word. Clamber on top of this thing here, will you? Help me solve something. <laughs> Concentrate and focus all your senses. Look past shadow and sound. Ah, right. I know this feeling. I have since I was a lad. It's like using every sense at once, isn't it? To see sounds and hear shapes. Quite a combination. Every man and woman on this earth has in them a kind of intuition hidden deep away. And there we go, unnecessarily using our sword. You are a gifted man, Edward. Has a strange look. Is it worth something? Nothing you can spend. But if you find all of them, it'll lead to something grand. How many? A few dozen, I think. This way. Few dozen. Something else to show you. Dang, that's gonna be a lot then. Oh wow. Okay. Hmm, so this is the whole map, is it? Hmm. I found something else just here. I think you'll take this. Oh yeah, I can go ahead and make a health upgrade. What why are we here? Okay, that was weird. Um crafting. Pistol upgrade. And confirm. Not pistol upgrade, health upgrade. So cool, yeah, now we have a. Uh, body next will be like shoulder pads after that will be uh traps and then we'll get all that later did i say i can make something else we'll check we'll check back on that later I know some of you are probably like, you need to go ahead and upgrade your ship. I will. I'm, I, I will. Very soon. As soon as I can get to an outpost Here where I can buy are. stuff, what I will get to the ship. Monsieur de Cass was a man of many secrets. Aye, and look here. A solid staircase leading God knows where. <laughs> Let's what go do you explore it. Lies at the top? From what I knew of de Cass, I wouldn't be surprised to find eclectic instruments of torture and villainy. An Iron Maiden or a collection of thumb screws. <laughs> Iron Maiden? Iron Maiden? Excellent! They're of anguish. <laughs> Not a nice way to kick off. Ooh. But that is some damn fine gear. Try the key you took from Ducasse. That's one. Only four left. Aye. Hmm. It might be that these four Templars have them. See the names here? They've been sent to kill these four targets. Hang me, that's the map I sold to Governor Torres in Havana. He said it marked the location of assassin encampments. You think maybe you owe them a bit of warning then? If you have any kind of heart beating in that chest. Suppose I could? If it leads me to the four other keys. Bad excuse is better than none at all. You can tell that's a woman because she doesn't have an Adam's apple. I probably just offended people. Okay, cool. It shows where uh, these things are. Okay, yeah. This is money gain medium. 
But we're looking for keys, aren't we? I guess these are like the keys. Whatever. Um, a little bit of a Assassin's Creed 2 reference. Who is that? Who Whose armor is that? Because I know like in Assassin's Creed 2, you get Altair's armor. But we already have Altair's armor because I have a game, another Assassin's Creed game that I own previous of uh, Black Flag. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know who that is. If anybody knows that, which I'll probably do research after, and then somebody will tell me, like, I already know that. There's a lot of chests and shanties. Or not, like, a bunch of shanties, but, uh, actually, yeah, there is a couple of shanties. Um, I'll probably ignore that for now, and focus on getting that treasure map. What is this black spot? How do I zoom in? Huh. It's weird. Now that's booty. Hmm, <laughs> now that's some booty. Uh reward plan gray sales. Ooh. Coo coo. And then we can flip back and forth to the... Oh, that's cool. It tells you that you've already found the treasure on the bottom right. That's cool. We need to go ahead and find these places. Leaving already. I think this cove suits you best, Edward. Better than that costume does. Oh, come on now. We're pirates, kid. We take as we please and become who we like. Self-made man. But that look ain't you. It's not who you are. <laughs> it's not like who you are. Hard to tell some days. All I know is you like dangerous prizes. Like the observatory. I think you know more about that than you let on in NASA. You noticed that, did you? Meet me at 20 degrees, three minutes latitude just off the coast of Yucatan. I'll have something to show you there in a few weeks' time. What is that? Also, I wonder why James... Or, well... Kid, I'll say, pretends to be a guy. And I have a word. Hello. Back in the pirate age, nobody listened to a woman taking order. Only men were allowed to take order, and they would listen. Thank you for listening. This has been Learning with Nate. Word, sir. I've been eating coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster I have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. So can we make this into an outpost? That would be nice. Okay. Welcome to an old tar, Captain. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. Tavern. All right. I didn't even read how much I was going to cost. I probably took a lot of money. You done an old salt proud, Captain. Dead. Be making it worth any a useful wear for you as repayment. So yeah, this is where we would need to go to buy um our weapons. Well, dang, I better get a big discount because I don't have enough money to buy the sword set anymore. Nope, don't even have enough. Dang. Ah, I should have, uh. Should have waited. Maybe I'll. I should have bought this first. 
thing. Okay. Oh well, you live and learn. I wonder if uh, I get revenue from this. Boy, Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackdaw. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers might come in useful. We decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself and tell me what you think. This is something that I never really messed with. Uh, diamonds. How do you get diamonds? Add more docks. Um. Okay. So yeah, I don't really know much about the whole Kenway's fleet. I know that when you give you sink a ship, you have the option to send them to your fleet, but I've never really messed around with like actually doing anything. Alright, so I had bought some hull armor and. Sorry, my <laughs> microphone was uh, off to the side. So I had bought some uh, hull armor and some broadside cannon, so I upgraded my, I upgraded my ship just a little bit. Um, so now we go to sword set and the officer's rapiers. <laughs> All right, that's that is what I've been wanting to do for so long, and now I can. Then now we don't have any money, but we do have cool swords. Whoa! Look at that. That is awesome. I can't kill the assassins. Okay. Jesus, Kate! You... We're onto something. I can feel it. 
Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone. But it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. Not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. <clears throat> so you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit. Only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything, Everything is, is permitted. permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. You duck! The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. There should be some way to open it. Mechanism somewhere. And like a capstan. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. Damn it. Easy, Kenway. This ain't like climbing ratlins. <sighs> You lot, them Templars have been chasing them. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. But they have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Enough to curse you with, kid! Must be a great treasure beyond. Treasure. Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin. I only hope you can take the shock of it. I can handle myself.
this it then? The grand prize your mentor asked me to see looks nothing like the man they call the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. Jesus, that's him, the Sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this Sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Jim. Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, I. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that what we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention, and take fewer lives. All right, now we have the blowpipe. Use them darts on this one coming now. Quick! Quiet and effective, see? It was a slaver who brought these soldiers. Orange Prince himself. Is it out of kindness you do this? Or give? Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lorenz Prinz. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant. Prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm trying to end this episode because I've just been recording for so long, which I'll have a lot to cut out. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like to cast his dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. 
Got another message from one of your friends. Hi. I'll show you. Okay. So I got, yeah, assassination contracts, yeah. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. All right, cool. Okay, I need to end off this episode because I have been recording for so long. So, yes, uh, yeah, really excited to play this game again. I don't know, I I want to record again, but because I'm just so in like into this game. But yeah, I think yeah that'll do it for this episode. Uh, hope you join me in the next episode, and I'll see you in the next one.